In this video, we're going to pitch Microsoft Copilot against Claude in a five round battle. But who's going to win? Watch the video to find out. Let's get into it. So in this first round of a five round battle between Claude and Copilot, we've got a customer services scenario. So customer Bob Jones has bought some Bluetooth headphones that won't connect with any device. So we're asking both AI tools to create a resolution and an empathetic, helpful email back to the customer Bob. So let's fire off Claude and fire off Copilot and see how they get on. So both are working working away here, creating the email. Now, Claude has got this interesting new feature as, as part of Sonnet 3.5 called Artifacts. So this essentially creates a separate document when a document is required. So in this case, we have a, a separate email as the artifact. And you can see quite helpfully that I can copy this or I can download it. So pretty useful features there. So the contents of the email is actually all in one place on this artifact, whereas the whole prompt, we just need to go back a step there and it's just confirmed what it is going to uh, do in that uh, initial response there. So meanwhile, Copilot has just got straight into the email with the subject and the contents of the uh, of the email both scanning the uh, the emails basically look as though they are pretty uh, comprehensive let's go back to the uh, email again very sort of similar uh, similar advice there and i would say they're both kind of like uh, empathetic in tone which is what uh, what we requested but I think I'm gonna give this one to Claude because of this helpful artifact feature. So it's Claude one, Copilot nil after the first round. So in this second round, I'm interested in some business books that I might like to read. So the prompt this time is recommend some interesting and engaging business books that I can read to improve my time management and productivity. So let's fire off Claude and fire off Copilot and see how they get on. So Claude has kicked in straight away, although I did click the prompt button first and it's recommended five business books. I didn't actually ask for a particular number, but we've got those uh, details there. Some of those I'm actually uh, familiar with and those look pretty good recommendations to uh, for me. Uh, and there's a bit of a crossover here in terms of the seven habits of highly effective people, also recommended by Claude. And we've got four recommendations there. So pretty close, to be honest. Uh, the one bonus that the Copilot has got here, even though it only suggested four, is that we have got a link to our a website here, which is pretty handy. Now, Claude hasn't actually got up-to-date internet access. Well, it hasn't got any internet access. So for this one, I'm going to give this round to Copilot. So after round two, it's Claude one, Copilot one. So as we head into round three, it's neck and neck with the score Claude one, Copilot one. And for round three, we're going to look at marketing and specifically, we're going to create a social media content plan for an independent cinema that will be opening in one month's time. So let's fire off Copilot first this time and then fire off Claude and we'll see how they get on. I would imagine that Claude is going to use the artifact feature again and yes indeed it is so it's creating this separate document that you can copy and paste or download which is pretty handy and we've got a pretty comprehensive plan here recommending the different uh, platforms looking at a number of uh, challenges quizzes and ideas for social media separated into different uh, weeks there we've got a reference to IGTV and uh, not so good because that doesn't exist anymore on um, Instagram there uh, some hashtag recommendations that's quite good and this is the actual plan itself so if we just go back a step here and then look at the rest of the reply, we've just got confirmation of the plan and the sections that it's that it's created here. Uh, so meanwhile, uh, over on Copilot, yeah, importance of knowing your audience, platforms, recommendations there. Uh, it's a bit generic actually. We have got some hashtags here, but 
I think the um, certainly the Claude recommendations were more specific uh, in terms of the actual posts and ideas, competitions and so on. Uh, we have got the references to the um, internet, but I think because of those specific recommendations, let's just have a look at that again, and really the more detailed uh, plan here and the plan sort of by social network you know it's even broken down into days here we which is important for planning definitely going to give the win here to claude so after round three it's Claude 2, Copilot 1. So as we head into round 4, the score is Claude 2, Copilot 1. And for this round, we're going to ask for some research. So we're going to ask to compare Dropbox with OneDrive, highlighting the advantages and disadvantages of each. So let's fire off Copilot and fire off Claude. And it's going to be an interesting one, this one, and see how they uh, get on. So we've got some features of both listed by Copilot straight away. And we've got four sections there looking at different uh, criteria, uh, such as the, the features of the, each service, the storage capacity, third-party integrations, pricing. And we've got a nice little summary there with references to where the research was obtained from. And over on Claude, we have got a concise comparison with advantages and disadvantages, but not categorized uh, just sort of um, yeah actually very uh, loosely categorized in terms of just each service yes yeah, so we not uh, not so helpful at all and also we haven't got the links to the website so it certainly narrows the uh, gap between the two because it is now Claude 2 Copilot 2 as we head into the final round. So it's the final round of this battle between Claude and Copilot, and because it's currently 2 2, this is the deciding round. So here we're going to ask both these tools to turn an attached PDF into a blog post. So really sort of straightforward prompt there. So the PDF is slides that I recently used for an introduction to AI webinar about being more productive. So I have switched, you'll notice I've switched the conversation style on Copilot to Creative for this task. So let's fire that one off first and we will then fire off Claude. So with Copilot, it's reading the file. It's confirmed that it's going to create it. And we have got the, yeah, it's a pretty good title there. Um, not sure it's about the future of work really, um, but that's interesting. It's put in that paragraph there. Certainly got a section on what is AI and about AI in daily life. Uh, this is a pretty good um, summary here. Yeah, I quite like the bullet points here. Uh, and yeah, it's sort of pretty much gone through those uh, slides. Um, not really much of a conclusion there, but uh, not, uh, not bad. Uh, meanwhile, we've got the artifacts approach here and uh, we've got some nice uh, bullet points and details picked up from the slides here this is yes all the information coming in across from the uh, from the slides so pretty close but I kind of preferring the layout here really and I think it's just slightly more detailed than uh, than copilot and I prefer the heading as well uh, let's just double check the rest of the prompt because remember we've got this document here now that we can copy and paste that we can just download as a file so just going to go back a step here and here we are just confirmation what it's going to do which I well, quite like this uh, and then we've got the separate document as well so very very close throughout this battle and very very close in round five but because of this artifact separate document approach and the preferred layout preferred by me anyway I'm just going to give it to Claude so at the end of this five round battle it is Claude 3 Copilot 2 making Claude the winner